Uh, I tried doing a video just now on my webcam and it did not work. It failed. It kept zooming in right close to my face and zooming out without me touching it. Um, but anyways, you can see my pink's still in. Um, I washed it yesterday. I've washed it like three times now when it's still like okayish. Some some bits have come out, but it's not too bad. It's gradually going lighter, but not much. Um, this video today is about like. I don't know, um, I thought of it, but I just kind of forgot it now. Um, yeah, it's about, um, the whole situation of having your hair dyed like this, or blue, or green, or multicolored, or anything. If you have just the fringe dyed, I'm going to give you tips for that. Uh, but if you have the whole hair dyed, it could be necessary, it will be necessary for that as well. Um, but it's mostly on the fringe here, guys, so, yeah. Um, basically I use Stargazer, if any of you want to know that. Um, basically, if you leave it on for 15 minutes, um, <laughs> um, then you'll, you'll, you'll get like, not so bright, basically, and I leave it on for 30 minutes and I've got it like bright, so, um, Obviously, I've made it once, which was last Thursday, so a week, and it's still in pretty good. Um, so, yeah, so I just going to give you some tips on how to keep it in good condition, in, you know, keep it in for longer, and different stuff for that, okay? So, the way to keep it conditioned and in good shape, well, not really shape, that's just your body, um, the way to keep it good condition and keep it in is to just keep conditioning it, if you wash it every day, more likely you would dye it all the time, and that's not really good for your hair, so you need to condition it every, like, every time you wash it, obviously, um, still keep it, obviously, on the hair you've got, if you have your fringe dyed, um, and just get the ends, because sometimes the ends go really bitty from where you strained it, but keep the ends, and do that with the ends, um, and deep condition it. Um, you should always do that. Then just basically just loads of condition. And like you keep it on for a long time as well and just different different stuff like that. Um, but use more conditioner on your fringe than the rest of your hair. Um, another thing is to use a hair protector. Spray or mousse, it doesn't really matter. Um, but I use Tresemme, it's like a black ball, and it's got a screw bit, screw, 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 screw. Um, anyway, and use that, obviously put it on all of your hair, because you're still straightening, like, bits of hair that you haven't dyed, but spray it more on the fringe, on the ends, just get a bit in your hands, screw a bit in your hands, and just get your way through it, brush it, and you'll be fine. Um, yeah, just keep brushing your fringe so it doesn't get naughty. I don't really know, and that's really about it. Sorry, guys. Um, also, on your straighteners, if you have, like, a temperature gauge, don't have it too high. Because, um, obviously, it'll make your ends go split and all whatever. Like that, basically. But um, that's about it, guys. Um... So yeah, if you want any more questions, um, I'll find out and I'll make a new video about it. But I remember I used Stargazer and I used, and I used Tresemme Hairspray Protector. Makes it shiny, makes it soft, um, and I don't really have that many split ends, I guess. I'm starting to because I'm, I don't know. But I do the stuff that I have to do. But at least it's not really, really split everywhere. But anyway, guys, I'm going to love you and easy now. So, bye.